I am Chris Goegan, founder of Engineered Growth Systems. And from having worked with hundreds of business owners, interviewing thousands uh, more, there's there's one really big thing stopping businesses from uh, from really growing. And I and I I mean this from a really fundamental level of growth. I've had a number of conversations uh, this last week with with owners who are doing really well. Um, and big problem that that a lot of them have is is they're the business. You know, I, I've I've seen businesses like um, like grow and scale. I've I've helped clients, you know, grow businesses to ten million, twenty million, fifty plus million. Many of them have exited wealthy, have uh, you know, made a lot of money off off the exit. And I've also seen a lot of ones that that have not grown, and who have sputtered along um, and eventually like failed or or, or just exited for for way less than what they could get. And a, a big a big question for every business owner is is like, what do you want to have? You know, like, like, sure, there, there are those that just want to have a lifestyle business, and that's fine. There's nothing wrong with that. And I'm not, I'm not talking to people that want a lifestyle business, but I'm talking about people that want to create significance, want to help people, want, want, want to grow, want to scale, want to impact, and then eventually, at some point in time, they want to exit the business because everyone's going to have an exit plan. Everyone's going to transition. Um, most people's by default, not by design. But, but back to the thing, like about about business owners, is that a big reason why a lot of them don't sell, and a lot of reason why people live far below what they could is they are the business. The owner is the business. And um, I was having a conversation, uh, actually I had a lot of conversations with this in the last few weeks with, with business owners that, that are doing well. Their business is, is doing well. They're producing good income. They're already successful. And we talk about growing and scaling and we can help them grow and scale, but, but there's a big thing that's getting in the way, them. And, so conversation that, that, that I have, and, and here's a big question for you is what kind of, like, what, what kind of business do you want to have? So there's, there's really like, like two different ways it's, you could have is like, you could have a business where you're the one doing everything. Like, like imagine having a five-star restaurant, right? And you're the one in charge of the whole restaurant. You're in charge of, of setting up the restaurant, setting the tables up, making sure they're arranged perfectly, making sure that the, the flowers are there. There's there's vases up up around. That the the, the, ta- the tablecloths are immaculate. The plates are perfect. Um, you know, and then you're you're, you're sourcing the food. You're, you're you're cooking the food, or maybe you've got to cook. You know, but 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 you're in the kitchen and, and you're you're looking at the food and the fillet comes out. It's like no, this is overcooked. And the scallops, these scallops, they're they're they're, they're garbage. They've been on thirty seconds too long. You take them, you throw them in the garbage. You know, and it's like look this this lettuce. This lettuce is wilted. You know, and and you're just in all the details. You're involved with every single little thing. You're involved with all the little details of the business. But you are the business. So would you rather have that or would you rather be the owner of a five-star restaurant where people are coming in, they're eating, they're they're, they're having a wonderful dining experience. And and, and you come in maybe, you know, two, three, four days a week. You you walk around the restaurant, you smile people, you greet people, you know, you you, you sit down, you you, you order, you know, a bottle of wine, you you, you pour a glass of wine and you have a glass of wine with, with, you know, maybe people, this, this table, that table. And and then that's all you do. And the restaurant runs perfectly and flawlessly. Like a five, do you want, do you want to be the one that every single little detail managing every single little detail, or do you want to own a five-star restaurant? That's really the big starting point before you're ready to scale is, is, is answering that, that question because, and I know me, I, I, I'm a control freak and I'm a detail guy and, and learning to let go of that stuff is difficult. A lot of people I've worked with who have built very significant businesses, it's been very difficult for them. So, um, because it, it takes, to, you know, you've got to do some rewiring and some rethinking and mindset changes and stuff like that. And, you know, your value is not, not in, in the business or what you do in the business. A lot of these, these, these things, but the biggest thing before you're ready to grow is just really understanding, like, what do I want? Do I want to be the guy that the business depends on, you know, all the time, forever, you know, I'm the guy in the kitchen. I'm the guy testing all the food. I'm the guy making sure everything's, I'm, I'm doing everything. Or you want to be the owner of a five-star restaurant. You come in a couple few times a week, you know, pour a glass of wine, mingle with the guests, you know, and, and, and leave. So that's, that's really the, the, the biggest point before you're ready. Forget about strategy. Forget about, forget about anything. Forget about what you should be doing. Forget about plans. Forget about anything. It's, it's really just getting that one question that that one thing settled you know for you and then um and once you have that then you can uh then you can like you know engineer build on girl scale um and exit wealthy if that's something you want to do anyway i'm chris goegan hope you found this uh this this useful
And if you want additional resources, go underneath this video somewhere. There, there will be a link to uh, some other resources that, that can uh, help you on your journey. All right. Have a great day. Bye-bye.